नमस्ते वेलकम टू स्टार हेल्थ यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू और समवन यू लव इज डीलिंग विद इरेगुलर पीरियड्स वेट गेन एक्ने एक्सेसिव हेयर फॉल और फटीक देन स्टॉप बिकॉज दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू यू माइट हैव पी सी ओ एस लेट्स ब्रेक इट डाउन इन अ सिंपल वे सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वट्स हैपनिंग एंड वॉट यू कैन डू अबाउट इट टूडे आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट समथिंग दैट इफेक्ट्स वन आउट ऑफ फाइव वीमेन इन इंडिया PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome in PCOS the ovaries produce more male hormone than usual and this leads to cyst which are formed in your ovaries these cysts are not harmful but they can lead to hormonal imbalance that affect your health but don't worry with the right lifestyle and diet changes it can be managed effectively Now what are the symptoms of PCOS? See PCOS can cause a variety of symptoms and they can be different for everyone which means I might be having certain symptoms and you won't have them but you would have another set of symptoms. So some common symptoms which are usually there number 1 irregular periods missing periods or having them less often which means fewer than 8 times in a year is also a sign of PCOS. Number 2 is weight gain and particularly around the abdominal area. Number 3 excess hair growth particularly on your face, your chest or back. Scientifically this term is known as hirsutism. Next acne and oily skin than usual. Hair especially around the chin area are a very strong sign of PCOS. Hair thinning is also one of the symptoms of PCOS. Dark patches on the skin often on the neck, groin region or under the breast which is termed as acanthosis nigricans is due to insulin sensitivity and is generally seen in the women suffering from PCOS. The last one overweight. When you gain weight suddenly it is a very strong sign of PCOS. For example imagine Radhika a 25 year old teacher she noticed that her periods were becoming irregular and she started gaining weight all of a sudden especially around her waist area she also saw that more hair were there on her face than usual and had more acne than usual so these were the signs of PCOS let's understand what are the blood tests you need to do if you suspect you have PCOS the first step is to visit your doctor They will likely recommend some blood test to check your hormone levels and an ultrasound. Here are the key tests that can help you diagnose PCOS. Number 1 is androgen level. See high levels of male hormones like testosterone can indicate PCOS. So that is one test you have to get done. Number 2 LH and FSH. So this is a blood test wherein you get to know about your hormones and their imbalance. where LH stands for luteinizing hormone and FSH stands for follicular stimulating hormone and imbalance in this can definitely impact your menstrual cycle now number 3 is insulin levels many women with PCOS have insulin resistance so get your insulin level checked especially if you have a family history of diabetes Number 4 thyroid function test this is a blood test that measures the level of thyroid hormone in the blood to determine thyroid function these are important to rule out other condition that can cause the similar symptoms number 5 lipid profile this test is important to check cholesterol levels as you know women with pcos often have higher level of ldl which is also known as bad cholesterol These tests will help you and your doctor and your dietitian to understand what's going on with your body and confirm whether you have PCOS. Now let's talk about what you can do if you have PCOS. Now you have been to the doctor, you have got the blood test done, you have the signs and symptoms. So let's understand how you can really manage it and get back Firstly it's very important to understand that PCOS is a lifestyle disorder and not a disease which means you can easily reverse it regular exercise and maintaining a healthy weight can help you manage symptoms you know even just losing 5 to 10% of your body weight can make a very big difference so try to include at least 30 minutes of physical activity every day you know it can be walking yoga or dancing but remember staying active isn't about just losing weight but it also helps you balance your hormones high fiber foods eat high fiber foods like oats brown rice whole grains and vegetables to help manage blood sugar levels and remove excess estrogen from body because if you are constipated you generally build up excess estrogen in the body and you don't want it right Number 2 eating lean protein lean protein refers to food that are high in protein by being low in fat lean protein such as dals legumes eggs fish they support you to feel full and better your muscle health number 
healthy fats i know fats are usually the culprits right everybody says don't eat fats but in pcos you need to make sure that you eat important healthy fats like nuts seeds ghee but hello avoid that fried and junk food number 4 reduce sugar cut down on that sweet which you really crave for and try to understand why you are craving for that sugar so no sugar no sugary drinks and refined carbs for you particularly bread and those pastas okay number 5 and the last one avoid milk yes you heard it right limit milk consumption why because milk consumption is far more than milk available which means the quality of milk is compromised by giving cattle hormonal injection in turn increasing inflammation in the body and creating a hormone havoc in our body so please avoid it you may consume some you know yogurt curd and buttermilk that is absolutely fine because it helps you with the lactobacillus as well which your body definitely needs now what are the supplements which you need to take along with a healthy diet supplement can help manage pcs symptoms and you heard it right so number 1 in the list is inositol it helps you improve insulin sensitivity and regulates period number 2 is vitamin the mighty vitamin d many women with pcs have low levels of vitamin d which can affect insulin and hormone levels so make sure that you soak in sun for at least 10 to 15 minutes every morning and eat a supplement as per your doctor's prescription number 3 omega 3 fatty acids found in fish oil and algae that can help reduce inflammation and improve heart health and definitely will help you with your pcos and number 4 my favorite magnesium helps in insulin resistance and reduce pms symptoms remember pcos is a common condition but with the right care and lifestyle change it can be managed effectively if you have any symptoms or concern don't hesitate but seek help so that's all for this video i hope this video was informative for you if you like the video hit the like button now share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to star health for more such content thank you Thank you.